Hello guys and welcome back to Viking Lord Racing. Today we're going to be doing a challenge that's very similar to what I did about this time last year. And we're going to be seeing if Formula 1 cars can really race around the Nürburgring Nordschleife. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are as uh, Oscar Piastri in the MCL 60. And we're going to be seeing if we can make a good start here because we are starting from the back of the grid. It's an okay start, but... I got way too much wheel spin, went into the wall, and I also went into the back of George Russell, so that's uh, pretty bad, that slowed me down, but we're going to keep moving, see if we can make a move here on Valtteri Bottas, but he just sort of pushes me out and doesn't give me too much space there too, I mean, he, he didn't really need to give me space, but I think here at the Nordschleife, Drivers should all be really cautious and really always be looking in their mirrors, but that's what you get with a set of Corsa AI. Now we pass Valtteri Bottas, but he sticks it on the outside. That's a very bold and brave move from him, but our straight line speed with this edited spa setup is just way too good. Well, we're going to pass multiple cars here. Now, I really got to stay off the curbs here because if you touch that curb and get the whole wheel surface on the curb, you are going to spin immediately almost. So, very, very important to uh, stay off of those. And, uh, oh, we go a bit too wide here. So, I think Lewis Hamilton is going to have a good, uh, good chance to get by us. And we sort of have to hold position even if we're faster in this section. I let him by there, I shouldn't have. I just broke a little bit too too late, so uh, yeah. Now this is another section where you can really go in the throttle way too fast. So avoiding, avoiding touching that exit car, but I, as I've explained, because it is just too scary. Uh, gotta stay off that curve as well. But we're going to get a good chance to even catch up to Carlos Sainz here because our straight line speed is just unparalleled. I don't know why I chose to go on the outside there, but I did. But whatever. So we're chasing down this Hamilton. Gaining, 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 gaining. Oh, that was really, really scary. Oh, but we're going to catch up to Carlos Sainz. Oh, I'm going wheel to wheel with... I think that's Espan Ocon. Yes, it is. So now we're behind Nico Hülkenberg. Oh, but we just go too wide here on the carousel. But we're going to see if we can catch up to... Uh, oh, that was very sketchy to go too wide there. And I touch the entry curb and almost lose the car. As I said, these curbs are just scary. Especially with the amount of bumps on this track. Gotta be really careful getting on the throttle with the amount of weight adjustments going on in the car. And I'm getting so much lag right now because my computer cannot handle the amount of cars going around this track. And just how big this track is, it's 14 kilometers long. No wonder anybody's computer is having trouble with this. Oh, I almost lost it there under traction. Very, very scary. Now you do have to lift a bit for this. I have learned my lesson from a couple other attempts at this challenge that you really gotta stay, really gotta stay in the center of that track in that area. Because if you do catch a curve, you're gonna spin automatically. And uh, I'm speaking from so much experience. I mean, I've crashed at least five times trying to uh, do that third sector, trying to attempt this challenge. So, yeah. Oh, and uh, that was Lando Norris who must have crashed there, and we go wide on the penultimate corner. So here we are, lap two, final lap, getting a little bit too much understeer there. Of course, it's the uh, extreme setup we have on the car that's probably causing that. Okay, so Esteban Arcon is 0.9 seconds ahead of us, or yeah. So, 
gap is coming down, coming down, coming down. Don't want to get on the throttle too fast here because we wouldn't want to spin at this stage of the challenge. And uh, we are on his gearbox, basically. We're going to try and take the inside of this corner because... Oh, because we don't want to hit anybody. Take the uh, inside here. Take the outside here and have the inside after. Okay, now we're going to catch up to Alex Albon as we get a massive... Not a massive snap, but a big enough snap to give me worry. As we are right here behind Kevin Magnussen and Nick DeVries chasing ninth position. Okay, we gotta stay on this carousel this time. And uh, Alex Albon is on our gearbox, let me tell you. That rear view camera's not helping. Oh shoot! And he hits us on top of that. I mean, it was a bit my fault, but can't tell me it's to be expected and we tumble down the order we're gonna really have to push going into these final corners before the streak and that is incredible I have just lost this race I was clearly in the points now I'm last so yeah we're gonna see if anybody makes any issues but of course I continue to make small mistakes which are costing me seconds uh, so we're going to try and at least bring the car home at this point and we go deep so uh, yeah that was a pretty terrible half lap there but Hopefully you enjoyed that that challenge. Obviously, I didn't put up a, a good fight against anybody, but I think it demonstrated that the the number green can can produce some good racing. But I think some of the corners are just too high speed for these uh, Formula One cars that, of course, have massive amounts of downforce. That it's just too dangerous. I mean, if I was a bit more competent, it might have been produced more close racing. And I was was about to. Uh, finish maybe uh seventh or eighth but yeah I, I don't think we'll be seeing it because it just looks too dangerous i mean so many places where you can crash and just not enough protection for the drivers so uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed that uh challenge there and uh hopefully if you guys can leave some comments um give me suggestions for more tracks that we can try similar challenges uh on because you know i'm always down for a bit of a challenge especially in these rss 2023 um mod cars i mean these these cars are really amazing so yeah thank you for watching